Hello guys! It's been a while. Sorry for my long hiatus in YouTube. Been busy this past few months. Anyway, for my new viewers, my name is Lourish. I am a food and travel vlogger. In this video, I am going to take you in the famous food street in Manila, the Ugbo Food Street. Famous for its tumbungan and various choices of food from different parts of the world. Ugbo is located at Velasquez Street, Tondo, Manila. Upon entering, you'll be greeted by barangay tanods and officials reminding you to wear your mask and face shield. However, based on what I've seen and noticed, once people pass the gate, nobody follows the safety and health protocols anymore. Oh, no. Nonetheless, let's still enjoy our time and experience here. Ugbo is a street, colorful and vibrant street. While walking, you can feel the high and happy energy from the foodie visitors and vendors. This street has more or less 100 food stalls. Visiting this local food street, you will feel that you're traveling the world. They have food selections like Mediterranean, Italian, Japanese, Chinese, and who doesn't like trending foods from Korea? Let's not forget about our own Filipino street foods. Ranging from fishbowl, kwekwek, kikiam, isaw, palamares, and many more. Name it and they have it. For the beverage, they have tons of stalls offering refreshing drinks. From milk tea, lemonade, milkshake, and fruit juice. And, are you a person with sweet tooth? Then Ugbo is the perfect haven to satisfy those a sweet desserts craving. Allow me to share some stories or history about this street. Actually, about its district. Ugbo is in Tondo District in Manila. Years or even decades ago, Tondo was dubbed as a dangerous place where crime rate was high and the people were poor. However, as the city develops to be more industrialized, the people in it also progressed. Many successful and famous people came from Tondo, such as the King of Comedy, Dolphy, Vice Ganda, and the former Senator Manny Villar who is now the richest person in the Philippines, according to Forbes. Guess this place is where dreams are really made of. Okay, enough of those side stories. Let's go back to our tour. I purposely went during weekday and went as early as 6 p.m. to avoid the peak hour and flocking of crowd here. But still, there were still so many people that social distancing was so impossible. In terms of safety and security, to tell you honestly, at first I was hesitant to bring out my camera with my fear of someone might just grab it on my hand. But in my surprise, while walking, I didn't feel threatened nor scared by any means at all here. But still, 
I suggest to always be mindful of your own belongings, especially if you're in a crowded place like this. Thank you! <laughs> Dinner time! I ordered a T-bone steak with mashed potato and rice. Price-wise, I can say that it is cheap compared to those in big restaurants. The service was fast and good. And for the taste, the gravy was a bit salty for my preference and the rice was a bit dry compared to what I am used to. Probably just a bad batch of cooked rice. Still, I would love to try other dishes next time. During this time, around 7 p.m., more and more people were coming and looking for a place to have dinner. There were people standing next to me waiting for tables while I was eating. So I ate a bit faster so I can continue my tour. Strolling around, I found a street food that reminds me of my childhood. A street food called baga or lungs in English. Baga is a marinated fried pork lungs, usually on a stick. It is a very popular street food in the Philippines. With 50 pesos, you can have a one styro container of baga with one plastic of vinegar. Since it's already Christmas season, Christmas fields will not be complete without puto bongbong a famous Christmas dessert in the Philippines. It's a steamed glutinous rice topped with margarine, sugar, and grated coconut. I requested for additional cheese and condensed milk to make it special puto bongbong. This food trip will not be complete if you will not try the famous tumbong. They said, that Ugbo became famous because of this tumbungan. There was a long line, but don't worry, it's a fast-moving line. Tumbong soup po. Ano po? Tumbong soup. Sarap po? Ma, take out po dahil niyo. Take out po. Ano po ba masikat? Soup or yung mami? Ano yung masikat? Soup or mami? Dala po po. Kareha po yun. Ikala po yung tumbong mami minutes ng kaya kasama. Ah, yung mami. Ah, sige yung mami na lang. Nakabukod na po yung noodles mo. Oh, sige, sige. Yan na pong mini noodles. Oo. Number 7 po. Salamat. Tumbong is made out of pig's large intestine, adding onion dicks, fried garlic, and salt. Actually, this tumbong mami tastes like and reminds me of one more Filipino noodle soup which is Pares Mami, a beef broth soup with egg noodles and soy sauce. So that's it for this food street video. Hope you will join us again in our next adventure. Comment down below where and what do you want us to try next. And don't forget to like and subscribe in this channel. See you!